So, traffic. We all hate traffic. Congestion, whatever you want to call it, it is annoying. It's infuriating. It costs us time. It costs us money. And frankly, it just makes us angry. Nobody likes traffic. If you like sitting in a traffic jam in a car, what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Nobody likes that. Everybody complains about it and also everybody also thinks that their country has the worst traffic in the world or their city has the worst traffic in the world. I complain about the M62 all the time on MotoringChronicle.com. You guys know that. I live in Huddersfield. I live right by the motorway. It is a blessing. It is a curse, but it's something that we always talk about. When it's empty, it's great. When it's full, which is most of the time, it's a nightmare. But which country in the world has the worst traffic? Well, I'm gonna to attempt to answer this. I've gone online, I've done some research, and I've had a look at the data for every country. Try and see which one's actually the worst here. Well, there's a few, and there's a few ways that you can actually measure it. So, I have an article here from, of all companies, Select Car Leasing, um, which is very, very odd to have them doing this article, but you know, they're, they're a car company, so it makes sense, I suppose. And the way they've measured it is basically they've took the average amount of hours Per year, people are stuck in traffic, i.e. how long it's taken to get places on average per person per country. So let's have a look. So if you're wondering, the UK is not in the top 10. I'm gonna read out the top 10. The UK on average for people is that they spend around 64 hours in, per tra in the traffic per year, which averages out to like, what, three days, just under three days. So yeah, quite a long time, but these cars, these places are even worse. Number 10, surprisingly, is Germany. I thought Germany had a great road network. Never driven in Germany though, so I can't say for sure, but I'm shocked at that. They're on 81, which is the exact same as Italy. I'm not surprised at Italy. Italy is unorganized chaos, and I love it. I love Italy. Number eight is Israel at 84 hours. Number seven, jumping up quite a bit here, is Mexico. Mexico City, I have heard, is absolute chaos, particularly at rush hour. Singapore is then at number six, a very small country where the entire country is basically a city. There's a few of their, those on this list as well, further up. So I'm not surprised Singapore is so far up, but their public transport is excellent. They're on 116 hours per year. Number five, Five, South Korea. Again, I thought they had good public transport. I'm surprised at that. 188 hours per year. Number four, Hong Kong, another East Asian city state. They're on 210 hours in traffic per year. Number three, Turkey. I guess Istanbul must be really bad. They're on 238 hours per year. Just above them in number two, Taiwan, 243 hours per person per year. But that's number one. It's not even close either. The top, according to this, by far, is the United Arab Emirates at 406 hours in traffic per year. Almost double the second place spot. In fact, more than double than all but the top four. So very, very high there. But of course, there is more than one way to skin a cat. There is more than one way to measure traffic. And I should just say as well, that data is based on information from around 2023, I believe, looking at it. This is more up to date though. This is mid-year through 2024, which is the highest. Well, this is done more on time. This is done on the amount of time taken per person per year in minutes. So. Again, it's a similar one to what the other one was. Some different countries in here though, so interesting how it averages out. So, number 10, Colombia. Number nine, India. Number eight, Iran. Number seven, Peru. Number six, Egypt. Number five, Kenya. Four is Sri Lanka. Three is Bangladesh. Two is Costa Rica. I didn't expect Costa Rica to be up there, but the number one in terms of traffic jams is Nigeria. So, according to these two different surveys, which measure their data slightly differently with this, it is either the United Arab Emirates or Nigeria that is the worst country in the world in terms of traffic. So us in the UK, we don't have anything to complain about. We're not in the top 10 of either of those lists. But there we go, guys. What do you think about that? Have you been to Nigeria? Have you been to the UAE? Would you go along with that? Is you know Dubai and Lagos really that bad for traffic? I can imagine they are, to be fair. But I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to the motoringchronicle.com to see much more motoring news and analysis and opinions all on here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell as well. And we'll see you very soon.